Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be talking about Autism Cures Part 2 from the follow on from yesterday's video and today I'm going to be talking to you about one, two, three, four different autism cures that I've, dangerous cures that I found online from different websites so we'll start with the first one which is called Parents of Autistic Children Targeted by Firm Who Are Flogging Water for Condition. So let's get into it. This firm is called Silica Waters. It's run by Rex Garrett and Wendy Latham. They basically say their product has beneficial effects to reduce autistic behaviour, autistic tendencies, and it will calm the autistic behaviour, an autistic child and adult down. And it's £8.70 for six bottles and up to £525 for a large crate of it. And um, basically, it comes from the Malaysian and Am um, Amazonian rainforest, and they claim that there is a link between the aluminium and the brain, and that we're toxin, and that this water will stop the autistic behaviours, and it will lower the amount of aluminium and toxins we have in our brain. So this water will reduce the impact of our severity of our behaviour, and also that we can be calmed down by drinking this water because it helps to level our volume in our body it helps to get rid of the toxins and the aluminium that is stored in our brain which is causing us to have autistic severe behavior and apparently it's to remove the aluminium period from our body this is absolutely ludicrous it's absolutely ridiculous you can't remove autism from the body it's a neurodevelopmental condition which is how the brain is wired. Why are these people still peddling this cure? It's absolutely ridiculous. You can't cure auto autism by drinking water, regardless if it's special water, holy water, any of that. So don't keep peddling it. So the second cure that I want to talk about today is stem cell therapy. Stem cell therapy, however, is really dangerous. This is about infusing blood into autistic children and autistic adults and it's blood that's taken from healthy people and injected into normal into autistic people to lower the behavior and to improve the language in autistic adults and children and to apparently make us less severe as they claim and yeah again this is highly dangerous it's going to make a lot of autistic people ill and sick and worried especially with a lot of people like adults who are being misled about this kind of stuff. And the next cure that I'm going to be talking about now is the fecal transplant therapy, which is also called the microbiota transfer therapy, which is apparently meant to be beneficial for people with autism. And what it is, is it's known as stool transplant therapy. It's the transplantation of fecal bacteria from a healthy individual into a representative. So people like myself... Apparently, microbiota transfer therapy is suggesting a link between gut microbioma and autism behaviours. By modifying the gut, the gut microbioma behaviour, apparently it will improve the behaviour of an autistic child or adult and transfer us into a healthy one. Again, this is absolutely ludicrous, absolutely no proof this will work, there's absolutely no research to back this up. And it's just disgusting, why would you want to transfer someone else's fecal matter from their guts into someone else who may have underlying issues and already is stressed out is anxious it's just wrong it's disgusting just ugh, it makes me want to cringe just thinking about it and the final one that i'm going to talk to you about today is autism and camel milk oh my god what can i say about this awful disgusting vile treatment that they're trying to peddle on autistic children and adults it's called autism and camel milk this is from the independent newspaper the sun newspaper and it basically says um camel milk is to cure everything from autism to crohn's no 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 and no comes to mind when it comes to this bs it's absolutely ridiculous and it says that they are claiming that camel's milk is to lower the autistic behaviour and multiple disabilities. It, it helps to improve the language communication and it helps to cure down the autistic meltdowns and shutdowns. By drinking camel's milk regularly, it helps to self-regulate us 
And no, it's just absolutely ridiculous. You can't cure autism. You cannot cure Crohn's. It's absolutely absurd. And I will link all the links that I've used for today's video in the video description down below after this video. And yeah, so I just thought I'd give my thoughts on it as an autistic person. I am shocked. I am shocked. I am shocked. I am beyond shocked. It's absolutely absurd that there is more and more and more and more of these dangerous, disgusting, vile cures being peddled on life with autism. Please stop this before you damage somebody. Please stop peddling these cures because one day you will make someone very, very sick, very, very misled, confused, and it's going to lead to potential a death or it will lead to you harming someone and having their blood on your hands. Please think about what you're doing towards autistic people. Stop peddling these cures, accept us for who we are and just leave us alone. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for more content. Until next time, bye.